This PABC tutorial will provide an introduction to what index terms are and how to use them in a search. A controlled vocabulary is a specific language determined by a group with a common interest. For example, a medical organization might develop a controlled vocabulary of biomedical terms. Controlled vocabularies provide a way to organize information for subsequent retrieval. They allow everyone to use the same words or entry terms to mean the same thing. Such controlled terms are used to index material and are called index terms. As an example, can you think of the hip-hop artist and producer of Making the Band? Were any of these the names you've thought of? Sean John Combs is also known as Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Diddy, Puffy, and more. Suppose you wanted to find all of the articles published about this person. You would have to come up with all of the variations on names he has ever used and enter all of them in your search. A controlled vocabulary allows a word or phrase to be chosen as the formal term to use for a concept or topic. For this example, we'll choose Diddy as the controlled vocabulary or index term. Any time an article mentioned one of these names or keyword terms, the index term Diddy would be assigned to it. If the numbers to the left of the names represented how many articles use these terms, entering the keyword term Sean John Combs would only find 10. However, searching using the index term Diddy would find all 265 of them. When articles are indexed for Medline, the index terms used are the National Library of Medicine's Medical Subject Headings, or MeSH terms. These MeSH terms are arranged in a hierarchical structure that permits searching at various levels of specificity. Index terms can be described as broader, narrower, or related. Let's look at an example of a MeSH term. The MeSH term for tendinitis is tendinopathy. This index term is used for the following related terms, which include synonyms and variations of spelling. Tendinopathies, tendinitis, tendinosis, etc. Although you can use Google to search for biomedical articles, it does not use a controlled vocabulary. For a comprehensive search, you would have to enter all of the related terms for tendinopathy. In PubMed, you could search for them all by simply entering the MeSH term as tendinopathy with MeSH in square brackets. How to look up MeSH terms will be covered in a subsequent tutorial. MeSH terms are arranged in a hierarchical structure or tree. A MeSH term may occur in more than one branch of this tree. The MeSH term tendinopathy is listed as a narrower term in two branches of the MeSH tree. So you can see it's listed as a narrower term under muscular diseases and also as a narrower term under tendon injuries. As Medline is the world's largest biomedical database, MeSH terms are the best known index terms in this field. However, they are not the only type of index terms used. Sinel has its own index terms. They are very similar to MeSH terms. And some other medical databases have their own controlled vocabularies. Once you have formulated your question, chosen which databases to use, and determined your search terms, a query still has to be entered in a search box. Search commands or operators are used to control a search and broaden or narrow it as needed. These will be covered in the tutorial on entering the search question. Thanks for watching, and please check out the other tutorials available through the PABC website.